Hi and welcome. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you the instant image crop package for Composite Zoom One. It's a package that enables you to uh, crop images. I'll be showing you how it works, how you use it. I'll be showing you how you can install it and uh, how to uh, customize it. So you have your website and you're editing content and you want to insert an image you have on disk. So you go ahead and invoke the insert image command. Select the folder and choose to upload your file. Now this is a pretty huge image and I only want a detail from this. So this is how it looks. Now if I want a detail from it, I'll crop it. I invoke the crop command. This gives me the option to go ahead and do freehand cropping or some presets. You can also make a preset and select a particular detail. Like this. Say OK. This will produce a new image. I have the preview here. Say OK to that. And I want this to have a particular width, so I'll just set that to 150 pixels. So here we have the image, upload it from disk and cropped. On this, I just want to align to the right. You can also go ahead and crop images already uploaded to your website. You do so by locating the image you want to crop. Invoke the crop command. Okay, I'll go for square out a dramatic scene right here like this. Also I'll save this as a new file. I'll make this 200 pixels wide. And align it left. So we uh, are able to crop images, both images we upload on the fly and also existing images in the system. The way you install this package is you go to the uh, system perspective. On the system perspective, you go down the folder path packages, available packages, composite media, and then you invoke the uh, info screen on the image crop package. Now this is a commercial package. It's priced at $20. You have a 30-day free trial period where it's fully functional. From here you can invoke a read more page with details on how to configure and use the package. And we can install it. The install is fairly straightforward. We have a license agreement. We accept. And it's next, next, next. This will download the package to your website, install it, and invoke the new command, or enable the new command for you. So we have it installed. You will see that if you go to your media perspective, refresh it, we now have the crop command. Now if we go back to the website here. You can also do crops from directly in the media archive. Now the options you have available here freehand, the landscape, portrait and square uh, are something you can configure. So let's go ahead and do that. You can do so if you go to the system perspective and you open the root folder, app data, composite, configuration, there you'll find the image crop configuration file. So in here, all we need to do is add another XML element. Give it an aspect ratio. To save the file, restart the server. Sorry, restart the server. And 
we'll go back and try to do a crop. It will pick up on our change. And now we have a new aspect ratio set up for us. So this is it, the image crop package. It's available on our 3.2 release. Enjoy.